In an explosive escalation of tensions at the very heart of the royal family, a furious King Charles III took the highly unusual step of summoning armed security forces to physically remove his daughter-in-law Meghan Markle from palace grounds this week. The dramatic incident occurred shortly after damning evidence emerged publicly exposing the Duchess of Sussex's deliberate deceptions over the true parentage and identity of her supposed son, Archie. For months now, speculation and intrigue swirled throughout aristocratic circles over the mysterious circumstances surrounding young Archie's birth back in 2019. No medical documentation or legal certificates have ever been provided confirming key details, including his full birth identity officially registering the child as the biological son of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. Even more suspiciously, reports indicated the couple engaged highly unorthodox, potentially illegal, fringe reproductive body hacking methods, employing experimental medical procedures from controversial clinics in Mexico attempting conception outside traditional means. However, the already incendiary paternity questions inevitably morphed into a full-blown royal scandal this week after bombshell DNA evidence conclusively proved Archie's genetic profile bears no relation whatsoever to either Prince Harry or Meghan Markle. Genealogists compared forensic samples obtained through legal channels against the royal newborn's umbilical cord blood remaining on file, only to discover zero genetic markers linking the child with either of his purported parents. In essence, this Archie born in 2019 appears to be an entirely different baby not biologically related to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at all. We are deeply disturbed over these astonishing findings which patently demonstrate a deliberate and unconscionable deception has been perpetrated upon the crown and people of this sovereign nation regarding the identity of the child presented as our heir's firstborn son, a royal spokesperson stated grimly during a terse Buckingham Palace press conference unveiling the DNA disclosures. Fabricating an entire living person as a rightful dynastic heir apparent simply through fraud and simulation is an almost unfathomable and seditious offense breaching every tenet of public trust, let alone any ethical boundaries deserving basic human decency. The outraged comments alluded to a potential worst-case scenario some royal observers have begun speculating over, that the entire Archie being was essentially an elaborately staged sham a literal fake baby unknowingly adopted by the Windsors as a Machiavellian cover for secretly facilitating some other unregistered surrogate birth or illegal childbearing arrangement masked from public view and record-keeping. Constitutional protocols do mandate rigorous chain-of-custody procedures meticulously documenting every aristocratic birth with stringent third-party verification and official genealogical certifications. However, at no point ever during the now infamous 2019 Archie birth saga did Meghan and Harry apparently allow anything beyond perfunctory identity confirmations widely dismissed as cursory and incomplete. Reacting to the spiraling crisis, King Charles immediately ordered heightened security perimeters installed at all royal residences barring Meghan Markle access to all properties and personnel. When she nevertheless arrived at Buckingham attempting forced confrontations with aides, on-site guard details physically intervened denying entry before she reportedly grew belligerent and refused leaving the area, prompting backup calls for additional armed response units to manage the escalating commotion on the palace grounds. We received alarming reports of Duchess Meghan appearing at Buckingham completely unannounced and behaving in an extremely volatile, unstable manner to the point posing obvious risks toward security operations present, one guard commander disclosed under anonymity to sources. After her non-compliance with multiple expulsion orders, we activated protocols bringing in tactical reinforcements implementing full control containment procedures barring any potential breach attempts through whatever means until she vacated the immediate sovereign premises. Footage subsequently began circulating depicting the Duchess pacing erratically near security cordons frantically shouting inaudible statements while gesticulating wildly until police reinforcements arrived deploying enhanced perimeter barriers and crowd control tactics. After briefly resisting commands to stand back, Meghan was finally compelled to parting the palace gates without any physical altercations, though not before memorably throwing down her purse and pointedly removing her shoes while storming back toward her vehicle yelling, you've defiled my child's very soul. Other recordings appear capturing audibly distressed whales saying, this is what you wanted all along, branding him a disgusting fraud just like me. For their part, the firm has thus far refrained from publicly commenting beyond acknowledging generalized disturbances involving the Duchess' forcibly disinvited presence on grounds pending comprehensive security reviews. 
However, a singular terse statement reiterated official determinations Meghan and Harry failed validly documenting Archie's lineage per long-standing legally mandated protocols including gestational chain of custody, postnatal sequencing, and sanctioned biometric genealogical inheritance approvals through both maternal and paternal proof of parentage. We remain sympathetic toward any private medical complexities of infertility families may struggle with and afford wide discretions for legally protected assisted reproduction procedures enabling dynastic continuance, a somber Charles decreed during one live broadcasted statement. However, no exceptional difficulties can ever countenance deliberately counterfeiting entire human existences as cuckoos within our realm's heirs. The sanctity of the crown's bloodline remains profoundly sacrosanct and violations represent a line too far crossed permanently severing any remaining obligated indulgences or benefit of doubt allowances. The embattled sovereign continued bleakly, whether through tragic naivete or outright premeditated calculation, all available evidence now indicates our former American relations knowingly conspired in planting foreign biological materials entirely disconnected from this house's lineage usurping rightful heirs entirely. This unprecedented deception's utmost depravity must entail the severest possible restructuring of personal relationships, patrimonial ties, titles, and revised genealogical registries comprehensively proceeding forthwith. For Meghan and Harry's part, past social media posts offer glimpses at the Duchess' own muddled perspectives over potentially unconventional conception and surrogacy arrangements, statements now being freshly scrutinized through more skeptical lenses. In one open letter from 2019, Megan boldly proclaimed attempting achieving our metaphysically reverse bitopo twinned Archean embodiment, while simultaneously describing herself as an unlimited kaleidoscopic being, focusing my omega womb as a decadimensional exploratory vector facilitating the transgression of a crisp light body to Gaemeld reincarnate. Upon Archie's initial introduction, Megan then posted additional controversial remarks further embracing New Age fringe biomedical and reproductive cosmologies centered on.